I'd like to share a revelation that I've had during my time here. It came to me when I tried to classify your species. I realized that you're not actually mammals. Every mammal on this planet instinctively develops a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment, but you humans do not. You move to an area and you multiply and multiply until every natural resource is consumed. The only way you can survive is to spread to another area. There is another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern. Do you know what it is? A virus. Human beings are a disease, a cancer of this planet. You are a plague, and we are the cure. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Nice car. Sure is. Make a deal with me, kid. You can have the car and everything that goes along with it. I think I got this. I'm trying to read it. Okay. Uh, it's too many times. Ah, yeah, that's too bright. Oh, that's too bright. bright. Go ahead, anyway. Oh, Mason, are you a Mason? <laughs> of course I am. Okay. You, 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 <laughs> I'm a secret serial <laughs> wife. <laughs> Bro, former presidents go. There's yeah. a photograph of it's uh, Ronald Reagan with Herbert Walker Bush and a couple other people all standing around. And they would put on robes and they would worship an owl god, an owl god and they would burn an effigy, but it's like shaped like a body. Yeah. And then they drop it on the fire and they're all worshiping an owl god and they're dressed like druids. Is that camera on me? Friends at the Bohemian Grove. I went to a summer camp. <laughs> we had bonfires. We wore robes. I mean, not like maybe what you do. I just want to say, listen, I won't tell anybody. I got a podcast. I want you to tell Joe. Let me in. I'll worship Moloch. <laughs> and the entire entertainment industry. Because there's a bunch of devil workers in Hollywood. They're Hollywood. And there's a lot, of black, a lot of black folks, too. And they be throwing up them signs. You see them, this, that, all of them. Watch the rappers. Watch them, folks. It's scary. It's very scary. That devil is real.
Well, what is this? Oh, the, the devil in this mess, yeah. Because I goat. closed this the, up. The I goat. thought this was rock be, on. Be, be careful. No, the goat. Be oh. careful. They'll get you. Be careful. <laughs> Let me keep my hands down. I was doing like this, like rock on. It's like, no. No, watch it. I was pretty, I was very interested, actually, in, in Eastern and Western mysticism. And I spent time reading and researching when I was younger. Um, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. That 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 that's it. there were some there were some very eminent characters in the Golden Dawn, and uh, I found it very interesting to see the history of those that had been in it, and this sort of esoteric movement, and also sort of what went on. Uh, the offshoots of it, uh, of that sort of love of all things mystical and magical, all things bright and beautiful, really. Well, hello, folks. I just wanted to add a few things to the previous video we made about the Olympics closing ceremony and this Luciferian satanic ritual that took place, just to help you understand another layer to it. And, and I, the reason I make this video is because I think that this is really important to get across so that some people out there watching this, you can understand exactly what the nature of this agenda is and uh, what they are pushing so that you can understand what the truth is and what to be aware of this huge deception that is unfolding in this world today. And so I think this is so important to discuss here that it's worth making this extra part uh, to these videos about this closing ceremony ritual. Now this video is not a prophecy or anything to do with that, this is an interpretation of an artistic show, uh, but just with the context of uh, the world around us and what is being pushed in this culture, which is the, the point of the Rise channel. So what we talked about last time, uh, which is very true, that this represents the Lu Lucifer Antichrist figure coming down, actually being kicked out of heaven, being uh, thrown down onto the earth, coming down onto the earth as a false saviour, as a counterfeit of uh, self-sacrifice of mimicking Jesus Christ coming down from heaven. Now there's another layer to this that I want to add, not to get too deep into it, but there's actually a distinct reference to Revelation chapter 9. And as you'll see that the figure is dressed almost like a locust, as well as anything else, like a golden locust. A locust creature coming back to its colony, which is no surprise with this reference to Revelation 9, because Revelation chapter 9 talks about this star falling from heaven unto the earth, and being given the key to the bottomless pit. And these locusts coming upon the earth in this chapter of the book of Revelation. And as you'll see, he's even got the, like a hornet or something, a locust um, with the, the antennae on the top, the two uh, things coming out of his head and the little locusty wings and almost like possibly a wasp or a hornet or a locust or a bee. Um, all in line with their false symbolism, like in Freemasonry, uh, where they have that symbolism of the beehive and the, the bee, uh, the queen bee coming to rule the colony and all of those things. All the, they have a lot of their elements, their false symbolism involved in these things. And, and this really is that queen bee or that antichrist figure or that Lucifer figure being kicked out of heaven and coming to this colony um, of the underworld. And, and bringing these creatures out of the pit, out of the bottomless pit, like in this passage in Revelation, they are locusts. And so you have this golden transfigured locust coming to rule the roost and to open the, the bottomless pit. And so you see in this sequence of events that we covered before, uh, the earth is plunged into darkness. Like in Revelation chapter 9, there is smoke coming up and this figure comes down from above, this so-called enlightened figure, this Lucifer figure, uh, Antichrist figure, coming down, it's, as it says in the uh, book of Revelation, um, chapter 9, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. You see there, as we covered before, you have the pentagram, uh, which is that star 
as you see being made with the lights it even has a reference to the star uh, and it seems that this this golden figure um, dressed like that locusty creature as well comes down uh, as a false enlightened being coming down to the earth and he comes down and um, we'll carry on with Revelation. It says, He opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And that's exactly what happens as this creature comes down. You see all the lights on him, the smoke rising up from below, uh, depicting this scene. Uh, he comes down and then lands on the floor. And you see all the smoke coming up and then... Then the earth is plunged into darkness, just like it says in that passage in the book of Revelation. And then it says, There came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Uh, and, and this passage is, uh, seems to be something maybe they based it on slightly. Again, this is not a prophecy. I'm not a prophet. Uh, I'm just showing you how this artistic depiction shows uh, some elements of this passage from the book of Revelation. So like a transfigured, golden, false enlightened locust almost. A lot of these things have different layers to them. Again, it's not worth getting down a rabbit hole and getting confused by these things or, or too uh, focused on them or fixated on them. But they have different layers, what they show. Um, it's dangerous stuff. It's very occultic stuff. So very evil and wicked. But there you see the references to the passage in the book of Revelation. And so there's elements you can see of it, like I mentioned last time. I didn't actually speak about this, but I put it as a graphic in the previous video. Um, you see the way he's doing that there, like the Cairo or the Christogram symbol with the X and the P. He's doing it with his legs. He's doing the X with his legs there, and he's doing the P with his arm. Um, now, the reason I noticed what this was, I saw that he was doing the, the, you know, these subliminals with his legs before, and then I thought, hang on a minute, I wonder if he's doing the P uh, with his arm, and the reason he'd be doing that is because I've seen this before. Uh, this actually, the XP is a reference to the Cairo, and that's uh, Greek from the word Christ, the first two Greek letters of the word Christ, uh, and the XP to be hearkening towards the word Christ, because this is representing that Antichrist figure, that Lucifer figure, the, the Antichrist figure coming down, but representing that coming of this false Christ. So he's even doing a reference to the word Christ with the X with his legs and the P with his arms. And I've seen this before, uh, with the Knights Templar on some of their graves in the mausoleums or on their graves. You know, the Knights Templar, how they were uh, this false Christian army that turned to the mystery religions and the false things. Well, the Knights Templar on some of their graves, you see the very same thing where the, the, on the statue uh, of the knight, there will be a knight that's crossing its legs and doing the pee with its arms. So I've seen that before in Temple in London the Knights Templar Temple in London, and I've seen it here. So he's doing the same type of thing that I've seen the Knights Templar doing, uh, where they're, they're doing that X and P with the body. So that's why I noticed that when I saw that. Uh, so that is a direct reference, a communication with symbolism of the word Christ. So this is a type of antichrist that is being shown here, coming down to a desolate earth as well as the Revelation 9 reference of the opening the bottomless pit. It's showing all of the above, you know, um, not just one thing it's showing here, it's showing all of the above. Uh, but the, the main thing that you need to know is that there's a deceptive false Christ coming to this earth that is claiming to be a replacement of Jesus. And it's a false, enlightened, illuminated, illuminati being um, that is posing as the Christ, but is not. And these secret societies that are showing these things, that is who they worship. They worship this Antichrist Nimrod type figure uh, with the Tower of Babel, thinking that they can bring this, 
uh, false Christ uh, from the other side of the veil or the other realm. Um, that is some of their belief system. Now, obviously, they're not the ones in control. They don't open the, the gates to the other side. It's only God that's in control. But they literally use these things as imitative magic where they think that if they portray these things, if they push these things out, if they do these rituals, if they conjure these things up, they think that if they use this imitative magic and portray these things, they, they believe that they can cause them to happen. Uh, and of course, this uh, being a reference to Revelation 9 uh, contains the passage uh, with Revelation 9, 11. And they had as king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. And they did this whole ritual in this, where they had this um, Apollo, uh, uh, hymn to Apollo and all these different things. That's who they worship, folks. That's who they serve. That's their idea of who Christ is. Their, their theology is completely upside down. They read parts of the Bible, but they take it in completely the opposite way. They turn everything upside down, inside out, and they believe the wrong thing. That's their problem. That's the situation that these people are in. And we should really pray that they'll be set free from this great deception because well, the Antichrist beast is the one that is going to rule over the world and they want to open the pit. But they think that they can create this golden age, which is like, in their eyes, like a return to Eden. It's a counterfeit of the millennial reign of Jesus Christ. They're in a strong delusion where they're serving the false figure, the false enlightened figure, Lucifer. And in the same way as in the Garden of Eden, they've bought the lie that from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Uh, that they've, they've chosen self over God and they've served this false Christ, this antichrist that claims to be bringing a light, but in reality is only bringing darkness because that is a false light. It's, it's not a real thing. They've rejected the true light, the true light of the world, the light of life, which is Jesus Christ. And they've chosen the false light that's bringing this false new age of false enlightenment. But really, it's completely counterfeit and a perversion, a, a, a twisting, an inversion, uh, a turning upside down of the true God in heaven. You know, societally, morally, spiritually, plunge into darkness. That it'll actually provoke the light to come, which they think is the true light. And, and is how this is depicted in this. That's their light. That's their false figure. They think that if they plunge the world in, and corrupt the world and, and send it into such darkness, like in the days of Noah even, that, that God's hand will be provoked because there's nothing but darkness. The light will come. But they are deceived because they've chosen the devil. Remember, the Bible describes it, this as the father of all lies and that God gives people over to a strong delusion who cho choose the lie. Um, so this is what this is depicting, folks. There's lots of layers to it, but I just wanted to update you and just explain this last element to this, um, that, which I think is re very relevant to the conversation. I mean, just unbelievable Luciferian ritual, which we've seen play out yet again at Olympic ceremony here in 2024 in Paris. I mean, I mean, you know, I, I have always liked to shape shift. Right. Uh, you know, the, the thing is, is that, you know, me without makeup and me with my natural hair, uh, that's not actually me. Like, this is me. You know, so that's Allie. Oh. This is me. You know, so that's Allie. Oh.
And Azazel taught men to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates, and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them, and bracelets and ornaments and the use of antimony, and the beautifying of the eyelids, and the beautifying of the eyelids, and all kinds of costly stones, and all colouring tinctures. And there arose much godliness, and they committed fornication, and they were led astray and became corrupt in all their ways. And they became pregnant, and they bare great giants, whose height was three thousand ells, who consumed the acquisitions of men. And when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish. It's not fair. 